I know y'all heard the news by now. You know, I'm not really big on a bunch of celebrity news, but we can learn a lot from it. You know, that the baby and his girlfriend, uh, Danny, Lee, Danny Lee or Danny Lay, they broke up now. But is this really new? You know, Hollywood, Hollywood divorces, Hollywood separations is regular. But people always think money is the key to money, fame, and attention is the key to a good relationship. Or regular people might think money. You know what I'm saying? Of course we need money. We need food. We need shelter. We need soap to wash out our nasty. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, but other than that, you know, if it's all about money, these celebrities with millions and millions of dollars, they should be like in bliss in a hog heaven, right? If it's all about money, since everybody always asks the people what they do for a living when they first meet them, why are these celebrities not, most of the celebrities not working, most divorces not working in general? Because people don't have, know, truly like each other for who they really are. They forcing themselves to like each other because of the fame they get. Oh, we'll make a power couple. Oh, we ain't nothing wrong with trying to get a healthy person, a person that got a good mindset that's really interested in you, that want to build something with you and along the same path, do something positive for the world, leave a legacy, that's fine. But if it's strictly just an image, you know what I'm saying? If it's strictly just because of resources, material things, then that's a weak, weak bond. Because it's, cause it's always somebody else that's going to have the same amount or more. Then what you're going to keep skipping, skipping, skipping? That's weak relationships. And I, I honestly think the baby knew that maybe this girl don't really like me for me. Maybe if I was a maintenance man or, or um, you know, a regular guy working at Target or Best Buy, would she really, would she really still be down for me? Would she really celebrate if I bought her a cake? Oh, I got a cake for my birthday. I got a cake for my birthday. I got a cake for my birthday. Would she really be that appreciative or act like, or pretend or act like she that appreciative if she just really got a cake? <laughs> For her birthday. As pretty as she is. So a lot of these rappers nowadays. They, they know. That these women don't really like them for them. So they don't. They going through, They don't know who to trust. Unless they know somebody from middle school. Elementary or maybe high school. Perhaps a freshman in college. If they wasn't a big time. Football star or. Basketball star or somebody. If they just was a regular person. Then that yeah that's. That can be considered genuine you know when you meet somebody before you get a whole bunch of money or fame and all that type of stuff somebody was there with you just because they like you or natural attraction that's fine but when you're dealing with just numbers and somebody like you because you um got a certain amount of money you got a certain amount of fame or how you can they like your lifestyle they don't really like you you see what i'm saying so they like your lifestyle then next thing you know if you ever lose that or hit hard, hit hard times, they gon' they gone, and they gonna divorce anyway. If they ever get a kid by you, they gonna divorce anyway. So what you gonna do then? What you gonna, you know, if they like you for something fake, they ain't gonna like being around you that long. That's why quarantine is exposing so many relationships. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta understand that. A lot of these rappers that know that they're not the best looking dudes in the world, they might feel like they look like a monkey. They might think they look like a Donkey Kong Jr. They might think they look like Monkey Shine, Monkey Stein, Eddie Monster. They might think they look like them. So next thing you know, they say, look, man, I don't know if this girl like me for me. I'm going to go into the next girl. They go into the next girl. This girl don't like me for me either. So they end up trying, after they go through a whole bunch of Hollywood girls and smash a whole bunch of Hollywood girls. Mm. Then they say, let me go back. Let me go in the hood and see. If I see one of my old girlfriends, I want to share this money with her. She ain't no glamour girl. But they rather get share their money with a, a, a girl they known back in the hood or elementary that may not look that good, but they know her. They know that she's genuine. They know 
what she about. They know that who she is. She not a stranger. She ain't somebody they just met. Why they got on top? Why they hot? Why they the best basketball player? They the best rapper? You know what I'm saying? Why they the best actor? They actually knew these girls. So that's why you see a lot of celebrities with average looking to almost funny looking females. So that, that's just how it go, man. So, and, and the reason why a lot of times the women say it ain't, it ain't break their heart because they knew that they wasn't with the guy for real anyway. They like, they be, you know, how I'm going to play this out? A lot of women be thinking, how am I going to play this out? You know what I'm saying? How am I going to do this? You know, am I going to marry this dude, try to get a baby? Am I going to just use him for for a come up, you know, to help to help promote my my brand, my singing or what my my modeling or whatever they doing? So these women, you know, they always thinking, how can they get the best out of the deal? That's what they thinking. They not thinking nothing else. They thinking, how can I get the best out of the deal? So, a lot of guys, a lot of y'all guys coming up, a lot of y'all women coming up, make sure you get with a guy not just because of his material things, his fame, or how he can promote you. If it's a business thing, then don't act like you're together. Say, look here, let's promote each other. You never know if they've done that or not, but... Don't never get with nobody. Just ask them. If you want them to promote you, you want to use them, ask to create a business or a deal, some kind of plan. Because when it's all said and done, you're wasting your time too. Anytime we do something for fake reasons, you know what I'm saying, we all going to, it's nothing wrong with attraction and, you know, wanting a little bit of flowers in your, in your garden. But, as long as you got fruit and vegetables in it, it's fine. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's all about them fruits and vegetables. It's all about if you connect with somebody. It's all about if you, if somebody gonna be there for you if you hit rock bottom. Anybody can be around you when you're on top. Anybody can be on around you when you got championship rings, when you got millions of dollars, and when you hot right now. Everybody know your name. Anybody can act like they love you and act like. You give them a, um, you give them a brush, and they act like it's the best thing they ever got in their life. It's easy for somebody to act appreciative of what you give them, if they know you, if they know you're wanted, if they know you got millions, they know you're sitting on money. So we can't let this these fake smiles and stuff. So a lot of these rappers or entertainers and ball players, they getting hit. They know, man. They tired. They see how a lot of these these uh NBA players or rich men in the past how they uh how they got got. They see that. So we gotta learn from that. And the, the women they gotta learn to get with guys that they really like. And if they want them to have more money, you help them get more money. I think every couple, every family should have their own business anyway. So. It's nothing to it but to do it. Other than that, it's just a robot. It's you know your fake love, your fake interest is based on conditions. It's not based on agape. It's not based on genuine love, genuine interest. It's based on conditions. A lot of people gotta understand that, cause they go every day, skipping from one person to the next, all because. This person got more. That person got more. All because their friends say they look good with <clears throat> they look better with that person. They look better with that person. Anyway, I'm Alan Williams, the real you Hit that like, subscribe, follow, check out the next video. It's made strictly for you. So don't ever think that the grass is green on the other side and that when you get money, it's gonna be all smooth and gravy. Your life's going to be fine. You're going to find a mate, and y'all going to just drive into the sunset. Nah. God always expose. God always expose fake relationships. He can't stand them. The devil love them. So don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. 
Allen Williams, the real